Hello and welcome to a new video in which I will walk you through how to use CATT to display domotics on your Google Nest Hub. So first we need to have this GitHub repository and we need to sudo pip3 install CATT. I have already done that but you will just type sudo pip install CATT and it will install everything you need then if we have that installed we uh, well we can use the command line to send a web page or whatever to our nest hub but we do not want to use the command line we want to use a switch on in domotics or even tell our Google Assistant just show the Motix on my Google Nest Hub or something and display it. So we don't even have to flip a switch. How, we are, how are we going to do that? Well, we are cre uh, creating some scripts. So yeah, if we go to the Demotix script directory by cd slash home slash pi slash Demotix slash scripts, we are in this directory. And you can see I've created two scripts and you can uh, well create those scripts by typing the exact commands I'm typing right now and this will take us to a bash file. What you will need to do is you will need will need to uh, well open with bin bash at the top line. And then we need to type CATT dash D and then the name of our Chromecast or Google Nest Hub we want to cast our uh, domotics web interface to. Then we will say cast site and then we will say HTTP colon slash slash the IP address of our domotics installation colon 8080 or whatever port you may have changed it to. We will save that and then we will create a st stop uh, uh, script so nano stop domotics and we will do this just CATT d chromecast name stop what we are going to do now is in domotics we need a uh, dummy switch so we are going to create a dummy switch this switch I've got over here and then we need to create a these events script in the on device section over here is the name of your switch so make sure it has a unique name or use the IDX the IDX you can find either in the devices tab or just click edit and you will see over here this is the IDX then what we need is uh, the OS execute this will uh, well, uh, initiate the script so make sure this points to the script which starts the casting and this one makes sure it points to the script which stops the casting. If you have done that you can uh, save it, make sure it's turned on and then by, by just flipping the switch in the Motix on and off it will show and take away the Domotix web page from your Google Nest Hub. But then we still need to flip a switch in Domotics, which we then already are in, so we don't, would not need to display it on our Nest Hub, wouldn't we? So, what I've done, and uh, let me get to my screen capture of that. I got to my, uh, well, this is some previous attempt but we I uh, got to the Google Assistant application typed the Explorer then uh, got into the routines 
Uh, one little note for this is I have a control X set up so I can use my domotics switches with Google Assistant. You will need that for this to work otherwise you cannot use the Google Assistant to well flip the domotic switch. So what I've done is I uh, set uh, open domotics so I tapped add a routine over here then my uh, action was I say open domotics and then when I say open domotics Google Assistant will flip a switch well let's see Google Assistant will flip the switch start stop domo cast it will turn it on and I will add and save and then I will add another routine which says stop domotics well it's in Dutch for me I add that another action and the same switch and I will let it turn it off so then the Google Assistant will tell domotics flip that switch that switch will trigger the DC event script which will initiate the bash script which executes the command line uh, exec executes the command line thing we created to let our Raspberry Pi cast domotics to our nest hub it's a really long path but it does work and it's pretty cool um, and if you just look at this uh, well this wiki page you can also cast local mp4 files cast youtube links whatever you want so well your own creativity may be the limit of what this can do i hope this was useful to you i hope you learned something and i hope to see you in the next video bye